And so we have millions of people out there who are who have the virus. We're just for the first day, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I've been doing other things this morning, speaking with foreign leaders. But one of the things I think this is one of the first days that the number has actually come down, the number of deaths and the number on a daily basis and the number of hospitalizations, et cetera. It's going to take time. It's going to take a heck of a lot of time. And we still have, as Dr. Fauci constantly points out, it's one thing when we have mass, how can I say it politely, mass disregard of the warnings about not wearing masks and wearing masks and, and social distancing and failure to social distance and people getting together on holidays in ways that weren't recommended, et cetera. We see, first thing that happens is we see the, uh, the number of infections go up. Then you see the hospitalizations go up. Then you see the deaths go up. And so we're, we're in this for a while. I mean, we're, what are we now? At about 410,000 deaths? And there's going to be more. The prediction, as I said from the very beginning to getting here, as after being sworn in, was the predictions were we're going to see somewhere between a total of 600,000 and 660,000 deaths before we begin to turn the corner in a major way. So, and again, remember, the vaccine, most of the people taking the vaccine, a vast significant number, require two shots, and they are an average of three weeks apart, and it takes time for it to be sure that you're at, you get to that 95% assurance rate. And so it's beginning to move, but I'm confident we will beat this. We will beat this, but we're still going to be talking about this. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.